I began my conversation with Jack Conway discussing his childhood and Kentucky roots. I had a wonderful childhood. I had a, um, I had a wonderful childhood because I had wonderful parents. Um, on, my father is from Union County, Kentucky. Uh, he was raised in a Southern Baptist family. My mother is from South Louisville. She's a devout Catholic, the daughter of a Union blacksmith. I often joke that between those two religions, I have enough guilt to last three lifetimes. Um, but I, I was born literally in an apartment on Poplar Level Road in Louisville, and, and I don't remember it, but I, I know at about the age of six or seven months, my parents moved into their first home in, in the J-Town area of Jefferson County. I lived there until I was about six or seven, and my parents then moved, um, because they were having their third child, uh, to a home near Cherokee Park. And um, I grew up in that area of, of Louisville um, and uh, attended Catholic grade school and Catholic high school in, in Louisville. Uh, on weekends, it seems like we'd always go one of two places. My, my father built a, um, a cabin down on Nolan Lake. Uh, if we weren't going there, at other times of the year, we'd go back to Morganfield in Union County to visit my dad's parents quite a bit. I began my conversation with Matt Bevan talking about his childhood in Shelburne, New Hampshire. I was actually born in Denver, Colorado, oh. something not a lot of people realize, but in the late 60s, uh, when I was young, my parents decided to move to northern New Hampshire, to Shelburne, uh, which is where I spent my growing up years. Uh, and we, it was a simple life. It was out in the country. There was no real town there. There was no stores or gas stations or post office or schools or anything. You had to go to town for those things. Uh, so we lived out in the country, raised crops, raised animals, and uh, just, uh, very involved in 4-H. That was pretty much my social outlet as a kid, involved in the 4-H program. Uh, and it was just a, it was a good life. It was not a, an easy life necessarily, a lot of hard work, but I was raised with two things that the older I get, the more grateful I am for, and that is a good work ethic, raised to give an honest day's work for an honest day's pay, as my dad used to always say, but also raised with good, strong Christian values. I'm grateful for that too, to, to let your yes be yes and your no be no, and to treat people the way you'd want to be treated. These were the values that I was raised with, to respect God, to respect my parents, respect other people. Uh, the older I get, the more I appreciate that while it was a simple upbringing, it was a great upbringing. Thanks for joining us for Connections. I'm Renee Shaw. Friends of Sani Overly describe her as a down-to-earth farm girl who's the pride of Bourbon County, Kentucky. She's a civil engineer, lawyer, and state representative who made a historic rise to leadership in the Kentucky House. I start my conversation with a walk down memory lane. Let's go back a few years, only a few, and talk about your childhood growing up on a farm in Bourbon County. Well, those were happy years. Uh -huh. And um, I grew up, as you said, on my parents' family farm out in Bourbon County with my younger brother. Uh, we did all the things that farm kids do, I think, in central Kentucky. Um, my parents raised tobacco and cattle, and um, we farmed with both of our grandparents, and so it was um, multi-generational operation. Mm -hmm. um, my brother and I spent a lot of time at both of our grandmother's houses and it was a, it was a wonderful childhood yeah. and a great place to learn about Kentucky and really form some values that I've continued um, to use throughout my life. Thanks for joining us for Connections. I'm Renee Shaw. The product of a single mother-led household after her parents' divorce, Janine Hampton believes she embodies the American dream. Hampton has a twin and two other sisters who grew up in poverty, but all are college graduates and enjoying success as adults. Curious about space exploration, skilled in sewing, and a voracious reader, Janine Hampton says she knew a better life was within reach. I grew up in inner city Detroit, not in the suburbs. Sometimes you meet people who say they're from Detroit, but, uh, and it was, it was, times were, were tough. My mother didn't graduate from high school, so her prospects were a little bit limited. Uh, but that said, I, uh, I, I just, I never believed I was stuck there. I never, and the lesson that I learned from watching her was that life was, was not for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, don't get me wrong, I, I am not, I am not in any way, shape or form bashing my mom for the choices she made. Uh, in fact, she showed by example to us that the, the easy way is not always the right way and the right way is not always easy. And she just showed that by example. 